Hey everyone, so it's Hearth and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be setting up my Beltane altar. This video is just going to be time lapse and I am not going to be talking. So I will be putting in some pretty music instead of me talking. Um, but at the end of the video, I will be going into kind of how I set the altar up and why I chose the items that I chose and just a little bit into the specifics of what went into the altar. But if you have any questions, feel free to put a comment down below. So let's get on with the time lapse. This is my Beltane altar for 2019. Honestly, this might genuinely be my favorite altar so far. I just love the colors so, so much. So what I'm gonna try and do is show you each individual item, why I chose it, and the kind of things it represents in terms of Beltane as a whole. If anyone wants to know a little bit more about Beltane, I have done a whole 
44 minute long video about Beltane and the different ways you can celebrate it and its representations. And that's what I have used when creating this altar in particular. So on the top section of the altar are some yellow tulips. Now flowers are a massive part of Beltane. They are so, so important because of their representation of kind of fertility and abundance. So my mum actually got me these beautiful yellow tulips this morning and I just knew they had to go on the altar. I've even used a little red ribbon round the vase itself because hand fasting is so popular at this time of year. And traditionally, couples hands are bound together with hand fasting ribbon which is often red. So that's kind of an homage to hand fasting. I then have a cauldron. The cauldron is a really important symbol of fertility and of females and femininity. So I have the cauldron on here for that. I will also use this for burning Beltane incense as well as for burning petitions later on in the kind of season of Beltane. Obviously right now it is the 15th of April so I'm not going to be doing any kind of petition burning till probably um, late April up until obviously Beltane day itself. I then have my white Himalayan salt lamp. Now this never moves, so in every single altar video you will see this salt lamp. I just love it being here, it's just so comforting and calming, and especially with the candles. When I turn off all the lights it is so so nice in here, so this is always there regardless of kind of the altar setup that I've got going on. I then have two copper tea light dishes, they're also offering dishes that I use sometimes but I primarily use them for tea lights and these are actually scented tea lights, these are patchouli tea lights. And if anyone has seen my Beltane video, patchouli is one of the more earthy herbs that is used at Beltane and it's also one of my favourite scents ever. So I had to have the patchouli tea lights going on and it makes a change from the standard pillar candles that I use 95% of the time. I then have a selection of crystals. Now not all of these are um, considered Beltane crystals, but I have included a selection that I personally connect with the fire element, and that's mainly where my Beltane celebrations um, center around. It's less of a fertility festival for me and more of a fire festival, and so because of that I do have the fiery tablecloth, I do have the red ribbons, the crystals, the candles, the incense. A lot of things are connected with the fire element, so I have the very end some obsidian, I've got some sardonic, some red jade, some smoky citrine, some red jasper, some more sardonyx, some pyrite and then two pieces of malachite. And that is really the main crystals that I'm putting on this altar, there's not a huge array of them like there usually is. This altar is primarily focused on the kind of central tools because for me Beltane is a celebration of fire but it's also a really wonderful time to use tools for the first time and to work with them, hence why I have so many on this altar. Up here I do also have the last two pieces on this top section, and that is my favourite wand and my athame. Now the wand and the athame are two tools that are associated with masculinity, they are phallic tools, and because of that they are often used at Beltane and in Beltane celebrations but I wanted to bring some balance to the altar, so I have the masculine and I have the feminine. So I've kind of got that duality because Beltane is definitely a dualistic festival with Samhain, it's almost seen as the counter to it. So it's nice to have that kind of dual aspect. Plus, I don't often get to put my wand and athame on an altar, ever. They're usually in one of the chests that I have the rest of my magic stuff in. So it's really nice to actually have them out and to be able to see them. So that's obviously really, really cool for me. And then down on this lower section I have my Angel Aura Quartz Heart which is on every single one of my altars. And then I also have my Pentacle Incense Burner. Now this is currently burning um, Pagan Magic Incense. I would personally have preferred Patchouli Incense if I had any, <laughs> but I don't. Um, I burn incense so frequently that I'm out of all of my favourite ones. But that is my Beltane Altar for 2019. Honestly, I am so chuffed with it. It looks so nice. It honestly looks nicer than I was expecting it to. 
So that is my Beltane altar all set up. I honestly cannot love it more. It is way nicer than I was expecting it to be. That sounds kind of bad. But what I mean is that I never expect my altars to actually turn out nice in my opinion. Usually I expect them to not look great. So honestly I am chuffed and the yellow tulips honestly make it. I love the way they look on this altar so I'm definitely going to have to replace them when they go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did feel free to give it a like. It really helps me know what videos you like and which videos you don't like. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, video ideas or just want to chit chat down with the community in the comment section feel free to post a comment. And if you enjoy the magical content on this video and in this channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and every Saturday at 6pm. So I hope you guys have a marvellous, magical day. Let me know what you guys are doing for your Beltane celebrations. And have you set up a Beltane altar? I would love to know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!